Hey guys, welcome back to Couple to Couples. I'm Delphine. I'm Juan. And today we're gonna be talking about a topic that I think a lot of you are intrigued and interested about. The first time ever that we went to a sex party. We had been in Berlin for around three years, so I think it was like around 2.18 or something. And I had been following a lot of sex parties and sex clubs on Instagram, uh, on Resident Advisor. To be honest, I always had like a big, big exhibitionist side uh, to me, so I just like had that big desire to go to like a party naked or like dressed in underwear. Anyway, even I remember when we went to like normal parties, I always tried to remove my clothes all the time. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's really something like I just really was craving to go. I was following Conceptual. Um, I was always checking events in KitKat and stuff like that. But even to me, actually, it felt still a bit intimidating. And to you even more, no? <laughs> I mean, totally. I mean, <laughs> we are the opposite in that, in that a matter. I'm more like a voyeur mm -hmm. kind of like person. You are 100% exhibitionist. I'm 100%, Oof. yeah. <laughs> Oof, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I had been following Panceptual uh, for a while. And I was always checking the pictures of the parties because at that time, I don't know if they still do it now, at that time they had, after each party, all the pictures of the party. And I was like, oh, I want to be there, you know? Like I saw all these people in underwear, like dressed like really kinky and everything. I wanted to be there and I, every time I was like, ah, oh, look Juan, the pictures of that party. <laughs> I was trying to convince him to go, but you were really hesitant. Super hesitant. I mean, of course, in, in principle, looks super appealing, you know, and I was like, yeah, it looks nice, hot people, sure. But I had so many preconceptions about a sex party or a sex club or orgy, whatever. So I was like, fuck, I was imagining the worst, you know, like, because I'm not so much into fluids, let's say. The image that I had in my, in my head was like, as soon as you open up the door of the club, a pool of full of cum would come, be completely thrown in your face, you know? So I was like, yeah, I was like, imagine, like, yeah, sperm everywhere, fruits everywhere, like dirty, you know, like you, you can see it or you would touch, everything would be kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Sticky. Yes. It was more like a hygiene. Exactly. Thing. It was more like a hygiene thing for me, you know, because again, I explained again, I don't like fluids. And also I was expecting like, I don't know, like these kind of like heavy guys on, on Dell. So yeah, I, I, I don't like that. Because I think maybe you expected like this kind of like big gym guys, like all coming like to me. And, <laughs> like no? heavy, like grab exactly. you or something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, no. Again, but it's just preconception when mm -hmm. you know something, you're completely scared because you've been bombarded with so much misinformation mm -hmm. that, of course, you're always going to expect, expect the worst, but yeah. no, yeah, yeah. I think that's the problem. But finally, one day, despite all these uh, misconceptions yeah. on one side, I finally convinced him to go to Panceptual. To me, that was like a big achievement. I was so excited, like literally, I couldn't sleep the day before. I was just like thinking about like what I'm gonna wear, like how is it gonna be. Me, to be honest, I had more like good uh, expectations. Nothing scared me, I just wanted to be there. <laughs> so so I remember we. it was the night before going to Panceptual and we had some drinks at home. I was trying on my outfit. I remember I had like, um, like a lace body um, that I had bought just for the occasion. I was so happy. Um, and you, I think you were, you just wanted to wear like a t-shirt and like some shorts. Some shorts. So we were all ready, outfits done, we were in the mood, we had been listening to like nice techno at home, having drinks, so we felt okay, like ready, let's go there. And we got there, we were scared that we wouldn't get in because the uh, door policy in Berlin in general is quite uh, hardcore, yeah. uh, especially with outfit, but we got in. Only thing is that we, uh, just after we paid and uh, after we went to the wardrobe and entered the club, one of the person that was working at Conceptual asked Juan to remove his t-shirt, because mm -hmm. it was like too dressed. So I remember you removed it, but then you put it back on because you didn't feel so comfortable at that moment. No, no, no. no again, kind of like was uh, my first time and everything. So I was like, no, it, it, it was too much for me. Plus again, you, you see these kind of like super fit guys, you know, super muscly, you know, like they train, I don't know, 20 hours per day, you know. <laughs> so I was like, no, come on, I cannot compete with that. So oh. yeah, it was like, no, I'm gonna keep it, keep it on. Yeah, you know? for the beginning. Yeah. yeah, now, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally 
enter uh, the club. Uh, it was uh, in Altominze, so Panceptual is not like a club, it's like a sex party that happens every two months in Altominze usually. And yeah, we enter and I see all these people like in underwear, kinky outfit, um, couples, singers, like it was amazing. Like the place, really, really cool, a lot of like floors, really mm. nice music. I was in heaven, I was dancing and like I really love actually that people look at me uh, because again I have that big exit side. I felt really sexy dancing just in my uh, little lace body. It was amazing. I was having such a good time. I was just like finally I'm here, you know where I belong. Yeah, I mean like eventually when we were on the dance floor and we after we explore most of the rooms, we were like, oh this is actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We felt it felt right. And we're like, okay, kind of like finally, kind of like in enjoying party mode, mm -hmm. I think. So at some point, we, we were like, okay, it's time to chill a bit. So Altamont has loads of places, like a lot of rooms. So we went to one that looked pretty cool, like chill enough. And mm -hmm. as, soon, as soon as we came in, the first thing that I saw or the, that, that, that caught my attention was this butthole, this guy. <laughs> I think this guy was literally getting pounded. It was so impressive, I mean, like I told you, the butthole was like a baboon, I don't know if you know, it's this kind of like, like monkeys, like they have this big ass, you know, like red. red. <laughs> yes, and I think this guy, yeah, like I told you, he was in heaven. I mean, like these three guys behind him kind of like were waiting. And he was yeah. like a gangbang, I think. Exactly, yeah. so the guy was <laughs> But I was like, wow, I wanted to chill, but yeah, it was kind of like zooming into his bottle, which was really kind of like, uh, yeah, dil dilated. Dilated, dilated and red. <laughs> so I was like, oof, okay. I don't know if I wanted to see that to chill, but yeah, eventually we chilled. <laughs> and then just this kind of like came, uh, this couple, gay couple came and started fucking next to us. Literally in front of him. <laughs> Doing and like they were a little so show. happy. Yeah, like, they almost like, like they wanted us to clap, you know? I felt like clapping at some point because he felt so impressive. <laughs> mm -hmm. The guy was literally putting his performance on. And yeah. Just for you, I think it was just for you. Yeah, yeah, he was kind of like smiling a bit. And then, yeah, it was fine. And you liked it actually? Yeah, it was like nice, it was nice because again, it, it just, it makes it makes sense, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and actually we saw a lot of other, like on the dance floor as well, like people giving, <coughs> like I was just, let's say, ordering a drink at the bar, next to me, uh, a girl is blowing a guy, next to <laughs> me on the other side, someone is like fucking, like a lot of like couples also hetero fucking. It was amazing mm. to see people so free and just like so enjoying themselves, enjoying themselves, and uh, like sexual acts everywhere. To me, that was amazing, and I think for you as well it was a big. Uh, yes, it was a huge no? revelation because like oh, that's that's really nice, you know. All my preconceptions completely mm. dissolved after that. Because yeah. at the beginning, I think actually you only went or so just to please me. Totally, yeah. because again, I I love to please her a lot, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what, let's. Let's do it, you know? What's like, the harm? Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so yes, that was the first time we went uh, to a sex party. Mm. Uh, and I remember we came back home and we had shower sex, which was really nice because again, you see, you spend the whole night with people that fuck around you. You get really horny being in this environment. I mean, it's oh. inevitable. Oh. So yes, that was the first time uh, in a sex party. All right, guys. That was our experience. And now we would like to know, would you like to go to a sex club? Have you ever been to a sex club? If so, how was it? If you haven't been to a sex club, what stops you from going? Have you discussed it as a couple? Would you even go alone? And what expectations do you have? Let us know in the comments. And yes, we see you next, next week, week with more kinky stories. <laughs> Bye.